bobbing and weaving in his corner, dancing as he loves to do. 20-year-old Aaron Pryor from Cincinnati, Ohio, coming out to defend his title at 132 pounds. The outstanding lightweight in America, national Golden Gloves champion, national AU champion, 14 times a winner against international competition. An innovator, a creative fighter, up against, though, a 17-year-old here, three times a winner in the Junior Olympics, and now coming through into senior boxing, 17-year-old Thomas Hearns from Detroit, Michigan. Very tall boy for a lightweight. And Pryor, who's been showing a lot of class, but occasionally showing signs of fading in the third round. I think he might have a problem today, Rolly. Aaron Pryor, however, has versatility. He's learned through international boxing to cope with all types of situations. However, he has a unique situation here, and he's boxing a man, the tallest man he'll ever meet in Thomas Hearns, junior Olympic champion, and a very, very fine boxer puncher. He'll have tremendous reach over Aaron. Obviously, Aaron's going to get inside and quickly. Right. And this Hearn is a stiff puncher, long arm, reminiscent of Jackie Wilson, the former Golden Glove champ back there in the 30s, and the world champion later on. Aaron's going to have to get inside that long lead of Hearn, who has beautiful mobility. And Aaron is a great man, boxing off of the lead. Hearn, he's clever. We've seen him many times. And there's Pryor with that vicious left hand. He's strong. certainly wants to uh, finish it in a fairly glamorous fashion. He's got a tough carter in there now. Don't sell the young Detroit athlete short. Remember, Hearn has had a, over 100,000 himself, even though most of it was against Junior Olympic competition. Hearn's one loss record, 196 and lost six. Aaron Fry won 142 and also lost six. Fire won a silver medal in Pan Am game knocked out the Canadian in the final. Someone said after he hit him and hit the Canadian in the chest, he was counted out, he called it a foul. And Aaron was the driver of the gold medal. There was Hearn with a nice short, snappy right hand. But Aaron pursues him relentlessly. Pryor is in very good condition. There was an open glove by Hearn. Good right hand by Hearn. However, Pryor comes out and left and right. Pryor stalking Hearn. Sticky. coming out then for the second round defending his lightweight title 132 pounds against the much taller Thomas Hearns from Detroit, Michigan. Pryor doing a little fancy dancing. Incidentally, he's representing Indianapolis here and he's got a big 500 on his shorts. Big round. Side by the bell, Thomas Hearns, Detroit. 
Detroit, Michigan, now leading by a long way, Aaron Pryor. Here's Hearns, still not taking a seat between rounds, which seems crazy for someone who's <laughs> taken so many shots. Things going Aaron Pryor's way. He's had, looking a lot better, actually, in the final than he's done in some of the earlier rounds. Maybe he's taking it too easy in the earlier rounds. Well, you must remember, his bout with Kenty was a classic. They've met several times. They're both outstanding boxers from Ohio. And again, Pryor has Kenty's number. So this is the third round for the lightweights at 132 pounds. This tall teenager, Thomas Hearns from Detroit, Michigan, coming out against this dancing powerhouse, Aaron Pryor from Cincinnati. Pryor had a big second round. Scored a knockdown over Hearns, staggered him several times. Hearns still in the look. There's that big overhand right. Hearns just doesn't seem to have a deep one. Taken away. Oh, and there they both scored with right hand. They both have excellent chance. He's being cautioned for holding. No points taken away. You have to actually stop the action and point to the judges. If you're taking points away. That's just a caution. In the right to the chin, one of the best combinations in boxing. Pryor. Pryor catches a right hand. They both exchange right. This is a magnificent box between two excellent boxer punches. Boys didn't want to break then. They must step back with two feet for a legal break. That's the second caution on her for holding. Next time he'll be called. There was a great right hand by her. But I think Raleigh rolls here a lot more of this boy Thomas Hearns. Maybe in a heavier division. He may put a little weight on and move up. Yes, indeed. Pryor is your champion. Okay, one happy man with me, Aaron Pryor. Aaron, some of the fights recently, you haven't looked quite your old self, but today it was really all back together. Yeah, like I had a hard fight this afternoon. Tonight I knew it was it. I knew I'm defending my championship, so I went at it with all my will. I knew this guy couldn't touch me. He was wild, and I was hitting with a good right hand. I think the gloves are double padded, but I hit him with some good right hands. And I oh, you, sure. you're fast and moving well. Mind you, they're two-minute rounds. That makes life a bit easier. Yes, it makes it a little bit easier because it makes it easier for me a whole lot because I know I got to keep pushing. I know I got only two minutes to do it in. When I'm used to fighting three minutes, I'm Olympic-style boxing is three minutes. I know when the Golden Glove is only two minutes, so I know I'm in good condition. I was just pressing myself just as hard as I could because I know by the time I got hot, the bell would have been over. Now you've got to train hard for these Olympic trials coming up. You're pretty confident? Yeah, I'm pretty confident that I'll win the, I think I'll win the Olympic trials and win the gold because I went to the Pan Am game, got disqualified for the silver, and uh, I know I can win the gold in Montreal with some of the guys I already going to beat. I already going to beat the gold medal winner. I know I can. I know you can too, and we wish you the very best of luck for that moment when it comes around. Thanks, Aaron, very much. Thank you, too.